Hey, yeah, what's up? This is Disciple Marshall Hunt Hearns. Rain back up in this anti Illuminati all day, anti telepathy all day, anti psychic all day, anti America all day, <coughs> and anti anti Christ all day. Anybody with them? Yeah. So, this video right here is going to be made about the Antichrist. This video is going to be made about the Antichrist. Um, you've seen videos, you've seen movies, you've seen people talk about it, you've seen Christians on YouTube talk about it. Um, but this is one angle that I wanted to hit that you probably didn't think about. Um, it's a lot of people out there that, uh, I have to say this, that are, are in white racist America that uh, over history, they have demonized the black man. They have demonized black people. To the point now, um, they would even think that the Antichrist will be a black man because in their uh, superiority complex, God complex, they, th they couldn't see themselves as being evil. They can't see themselves as being um, <clears throat> something wrong. That's what makes them uh, uh, ignorant of their human nature. And unfortunately also, it's a lot of black people that's ignorant of their human nature and they think they can do no wrong either. But we're going to, but this video is going to be about um, the Antichrist not being black. Because you got, people thought of uh, President Obama was the was the uh, Antichrist. They literally thought that. I know. And you and, and with these Americans, what you have to understand, you look at all these other crazy countries and you think they're crazy. They're crazy too. I'm gonna tell you how they're crazy. I'm gonna tell you how Americans are crazy. They believe all kind of crazy stuff about things in life and period. They think about all kind of crazy stuff. You know, and they act on the crazy stuff they think. <laughs> Not only do they believe it, they act on it. So that's how they're crazy. So, so although you would think that's ridiculous, you have to arm yourself, if you can, with, with, and go get gun licenses and stuff because people are crazy thinking stuff that, and acting on stuff that they think uh, in their own fantasy worlds. So for people that think crazy stuff, go get armed. Go get armed, okay? And, uh, when they try to have some little corresponding action to what they're thinking, you know what you got to do. Okay. But um, the Antichrist could not be a black man because he would not be accepted by all nations because of the color of his skin. I'm just going to put the nip it in the bud right now. There's no way in the world... A black man could rule over the world. He badly ruled over America. Through the person of a President Obama. And some would say he, and keep it at 100, he's not truly, fully a black person or black man. He's, he's uh, biracial. But the African American community in America allowed you to still just say he's black. All, but in all actuality, if he went and had to do the ethnicity checking, the box checking of the ethnicities, he would have to say he's biracial. Okay? And he barely got there, let alone a true African American. And what I believe is this. Um... They ain't gonna let no dark skinned man rule over this country. Somebody darker than me, it, ain't, it would never happen. There would never be a dark skinned man ruling over America or ruling over the world. It ain't gonna happen. So the Antichrist is not, not a black man. He ain't even gonna be a biracial man. He is going to be a white man because the white man will be accepted by all nations. A white man will be accepted without any problems at all. 
Everything will go smooth. Everything that need to go smooth will go smooth. Everything that need to go smooth will go smooth when it's a white man. See, unfortunately, I mean, I'm addressing racist right white America who likes to demonize everybody else besides themselves. Let me let you know something. See, you've done all the evil that you've done all throughout history. And then you want to get up to this point and call the Antichrist a black man. You want to get up to this point and call the Antichrist someone that uh, is not of white color, skin color. It's not going to work. You've been evil. You've been evil through the whole timeline. You line up with evil people. Your family lines up with evil people. You have organizations with evil people. And you're going to birth out one of your own out of these organizations, leaders, and all of those people. If God allows it. Because, see, here's something. Here, here's my belief. And I'm going to do a video on this, too. For all you Christians that say, well, the Antichrist has to come. Well, the... Uh, the mark of the beast has to come. Not if God don't want to do it. God is God. He doesn't have, there doesn't have to be an antichrist. There doesn't have to be a mark of the beast. There, hasn't, there, does, there doesn't have to be a one world government. There, in, in other words, there doesn't have to be a new world order. Boom. You forgot about that, didn't you? You forgot that God is God. You forgot that God can do whatever he wants to do. You forgot that God doesn't have to answer to you, Christians, preachers, evangelists, prophets, or any of the fivefold ministry. God doesn't have to answer to any of you people. Well, why didn't God do it that way? Because he's God. The Antichrist don't even have to come, let alone being black <laughs> or white. But I'll tell you one thing, he ain't going to be no black man, he ain't going to be no Mexican, he ain't going to be no Puerto Rican, he ain't going to be no Asian, he will be a white man, his, the white, and take it how you want to take it, the white tribe has set up so much evil for his position, if that makes sense. They are already in position to receive someone so evil. System wise, government wise. So understand this. If the Antichrist was a black man, he'd be dead. <laughs> and I know some Christian, you want to go you straight to, oh, well, he's going to receive a wound on his head and all he's going to come back. You get my point. Ain't no, look, let's put it like this. Beyond his physical body, he would not be able to even progress to the point of being a world leader. There's no black man going to be no world leader. I'm telling you that right now. He won't make it. He will be stopped. Someone will stop him. And it don't even got to be from America. You got neo-Nazis all over the world. In Australia, Germany, Ukraine. You got, you got a lot of racist people everywhere. Okay? You gotta open your eyes up to the full world. And I'm gonna tell you, it is no, you, all that foolishness, along with that reptilian, reptiles, and all of that, all of that foolishness means nothing. People believing in reptiles and, and people being rep, half reptilian or whatever. All of that foolishness is nothing, man. And you got some Americans that believe that. See, what you have to understand, like I said, the crazy that America has is their beliefs and philosophies. That's why you had cults here. It remind you, the, the church of Satan is from America. It's not from uh, some mysterious land we don't know. These people believe and do in, 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 in everything here. It's a gumbo of foolish philosophies. And that's why I differentiate what you call Christianity from religion. Christianity is not a religion. It's the only thing you can compare it to. It's the only thing you can compare it to is religion. Because it's a set, it's set, it's set principles 
and commandments from God. So you think that's religion. God doesn't need a religion. God never had a religion. God just exists. He doesn't need a religion. He doesn't need a preacher. In the beginning, there was no mosque. There was no sanctuary. There was no nothing. There was just God before humans. There was just God. God doesn't need a religion. Okay? That's what you need to understand. He does not need you giving him a religion. Okay? Now, this is why I believe in Christianity because, and this is why it's, it, it, it's the existence of God. Christianity is, it, it, that's what you, that's, it's a term to help you understand the system of God. Okay? Christ is what saved everyone from damnation. This is why it's called, that's why we, that's why there's an emphasis on Christ because you will all be dead if it wasn't for him. I think that's, I think that's pretty noteworthy. <laughs> that's pretty noteworthy. You all as humans would be dead without Jesus Christ. That's pretty noteworthy. Someone that saved literally the whole world, boom, uh, that's pretty noteworthy because you would be dead because you can't serve and please God in your own sinful nature. That's why I believe in, 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 in Christianity because you can't do it on your own. You can't do it. You've already failed. Every preacher, every Christian, you've already failed and you can't do, you can't, you, you, the, the possibility of you living a perfect life is already over. It's already over because you already failed. So you need Jesus Christ, pure blood that's untainted from sin to redeem you from hell. It makes perfect sense. That's why I don't follow stuff blindly like you think. Some people in America did follow Christianity, Christianity blindly. They did. I didn't. They don't even know why they follow Christianity. I can tell you exactly why. Because there's no way in the world your sinful nature and your tainted blood that is not perfect. You've already not lived a perfect life. It's too late for you to live a perfect life. It's none of you can live a perfect life. So how are you going to make it to heaven? How are you going to make it? You're not perfect. You're not godlike. Newsflash. For all you Christians, you're not perfect. And your, your life of perfection, the, the possibility of you living a perfect life is already over. So how are you going to get there? This is why I believe in this. How are you going to get there? You can't please God. God ain't nothing to play with. God ain't no Smokey Joe religion. God is not no Smokey Joe individual way. <laughs> you can go around smoking black and miles and then talking about, oh, uh, we love, uh, you know, God doesn't sit around smoking black and miles, okay? I'm talking about God. Okay? And that's not judgment on anybody who does those things. No, I'm talking about God right now. God is not no Smokey Joe religion. Sitting around smoking black and mouth, talking about, well, you, you, you halfway there. You can make it. You can make it to heaven. No, buddy. God, you, you can't even enter into his presence with sin. You will be demolished. You don't understand the contrast of God and sin. Boom. You don't understand the contrast between God and sin. That's all it's about. It's about purity versus impurity. So how are you going to come into a pure being, a totally pure being? His, it's like a formula. It's like an explosion. Your sin would be explode you. Basically, in the presence of a pure, totally pure being. You don't even know what that looks like because there ain't nobody here pure. You don't even know what a pure, perfect being looks like. Or even, you don't even know what the energy of a perfect being feels like. You don't know what that's like. You don't know what happened to you in the presence of a pure being because you ain't been one around one. 
Newsflash, your children are not pure because they came through you. How can purity come out of impurity? It can't happen. What is impure, children will, come, will be impure because they come from impurity. How something impure is going to come, pure is going to come out of something that's impure. It's not going to happen. They came from you. They came from all of your energy, all of your blood and mistakes and the blood and your lineage and your genealogy, which is impure too. Your bloodline is impure. You have no idea the sins that your bloodline has done. Way more wickedness that you would, than you would want to believe, dare to believe. When you go way back into the ancient times, your bloodline has done, all of our bloodlines have done wicked, wicked stuff beyond your imagination. Stuff that make you vomit on the spot. So you can't enter into heaven because you're too impure. You're impure. So Jesus Christ came as a pure from as the son of God, which will be pure. To redeem humanity. It makes perfect sense when we talk about the laws. Think of without religion. Think about the spiritual laws of the universe, right? The spiritual laws of the universe. You're impure in the spiritual world, in the spiritual, in the universe. You're impure. So you're locked out of going to paradise with the creator. You're, in, you're impure. You can't get there. You, that's Satan caused a whole universal explosion. And, and, and now every, uh, many people are following his path. In the universe, there are laws. Not, let's not, don't think about religion. Think about the atmosphere. Think about the atmosphere. Think about the universe. So how? So just because you think you can get there, you, that doesn't mean you're going to get there. There are laws set up. And the laws that you need to worry about the most is purity and impurity. And, be, and impurity, I don't care what you justify it as and how you justify it, you're not going to go to the place where the, the, the creator, the most pure being, the totally pure being, infinite impurity, eternal impurity, you're not going to be able to be, you will be a stench in heaven. Okay? Let's put it like that. You'll be like a funky rag that someone keeps smelling and like, where's that, where's that smell coming from? That would be you. That would be me. So the only way you can get there, and it makes perfect sense, Jesus Christ came, lived a perfect life, and died for all that you did. And would do and will do. Everything. All of it. Will do, thoughts to do, going backslide, doing it. All of that. And that makes perfect sense to me. Okay. Now, <clears throat> back on the Antichrist. Um, like I said, he's not going to be a black man. So let's hang that up. He's not going to be Asian. He's not going to be. People are crazy. They start thinking the Antichrist is, is uh, Asian because of COVID. You got crazy people out there. I know you don't believe that. But you have some, some maniacs. We ain't heard that word in a while. You have some maniacs out here. Straight up maniacs, man. Go look up the definition of what a maniac is. You got some maniacs out here, buddy. And they'll believe that the Asian... The Antichrist is going to be some Asian person because of COVID. It's getting started and he's going to come up and rise up to power. You'll be amazed at what people believe. But I'm going to tell you one thing. In this world that we live in, as far as flesh, skin color goes, the white man has been ruling. And, and ain't nobody going to sit up here and tell me some other color going to come when he's been ruling the whole time. Uh-uh. It wouldn't happen. They wouldn't allow it to happen. You don't, you don't realize how much racism lurks, lurks in the dark, do you? It's a lot of racism that lurks in the dark. And, and, and 
more racism than you would like to believe, more powerful and hateful racism that, that you and your children haven't even seen. You haven't seen the real racism that's really out there. You think you've seen it. You think you've seen it. Just like some white people think they've seen the ghetto. You think you've seen it. <laughs> you think you've seen the ghetto. It's the same thing. It ain't no different than a white person from the suburbs thinking they've seen the ghetto. It ain't no difference. And you'll be quick to call them on that, but you're not quick to call yourself on thinking you've seen, you have not seen full-blown hateful racism in the community of racism. You ain't seen it yet. Just like some white people, even though it's here, they haven't seen the ghetto. It's right there. They just haven't seen it. It's no different than the racist white community. You have not been there. Okay? And there's no movies out there to really show you. At least as far as the ghetto, you got a couple movies that you can see kind of what it looked like. <laughs> you can't see what this looks like. And you're going to get a big surprise one day if the world tarries. You're going to get a real big surprise. And that's my point. And it leads up to my punchline. It leads up to my point. This racist white community that you have not seen, that does not allow you to be free, you still ain't free. You're set free, but you're not free. <laughs> you're set free from slavery, but you're not free. They're not, they would not allow no black man or person of color, Mexican, Asian, to rule over the world. It's gotta be a white person. So please stop with all the foolishness, all the speculation. When you see someone that's powerful, spiritual, like me, talk about an antichrist. Because really you live in a movie world. You, all your perspective is based on movies you've seen. Most of you Americans, you are so influenced by movies, it is part of your perception and what you see and think. It's one thing to uh, have something else going on where you have influences that or things influence who you actually are. And it's another thing to think that this is all a movie or this is some type of movie similar to something you've seen. It's not. This is not a movie and it's not a game. And you got a million deaths of COVID and that's not a movie and that's not a video game. That's not Xbox. That's not Nintendo Switch. It's not PlayStation 5. It's not Call of Duty. This is real. And you got a million deaths beyond the world of Call of Duty, you know. You don't get no million deaths, right? <laughs> you can't kill a million, can you? I don't think so. This is beyond your worlds that you live in. Some of you live in the game of worlds of video games. That's what's wrong with you. You think everything's a game until stuff is out of your control. Until you can't use a controller to change things. Tell your government to use a, a, a game controller to change COVID. Tell all these people that think they're Batman and Superman, these vigilantes, tell them to put a, a joystick in their hands and change COVID. Can't do it, can you? Because this is the real world. This is the real world and you vigilantes, whether you think you're Batman or Joker, whoever you think you are, you have no control over this present world. You are <clears throat> helpless. And, I, and God has made it that way to show you, you're helpless. You're still dying. They're telling you COVID clearing up. Just, that's a deception. It's not clearing up. Every day I check it, I see thousands and thousands more. Thousands of people dying every day. You got a million deaths? How's it clearing up? <laughs> they told you it would clear up last year and the year before that. Here you are two years later. Yes, yeah, two years later. They told you it would clear up in months. And you think something's going to happen. 
And you got a million deaths. You are deceived once again. I'm going to tell you something. This whole process right here of people dying should be making you think about getting your soul right with God. I'm just, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's, it's, it's saying, come on, guys. It's all ending. You see the signs of it ending. Go ahead and get your soul right. I'm going to give you time to get your soul right. You see it ending, though. You see all these people dying. You know this ain't going nowhere. These politicians are telling you it's going somewhere. How? How is it going somewhere? How is it going away when they're getting new strains every five to six months? How is it going anywhere when they got multiple, multiple strains out there? Everybody's not getting the same variant of COVID. Some people getting this variant. Some people getting the original. Some people getting Omicron. There's, there's all, some people getting BA2. So there's a lot of different variants out here. That's what you also forgot. Because see, God watched how y'all guys act during COVID when the, in 2020. You were still hateful. You were still evil. So why should God move this off of you? You waxed worse. You became worse. And God looks at that. You had no heart during a time where humanity was suffering. Oh, yeah. God looks at that because if you had a heart, you will be more compassionate towards humanity because you already see what we're going through. But you were more hateful, specifically here in America. You were more hateful. You were more evil during COVID. And it's not going anywhere.